the Nintendo Direct on Friday. The other Direct was delayed because of an earthquake in Japan, but I don't know which place. So, yeah, I'm excited. New Super Mario Bros. U is getting the deluxe treatment, which means it's time to take down Bowser and his Koopaling invasion in the tried and true side scroller headed to Nintendo Switch. This coming because the last Nintendo Direct was delayed because of an earthquake. What's up, gamers? It's me, Mass YouTuber. Um, so th three years ago, I did some Nintendo Direct talk on my Artist Rich channel, which you saw in the beginning of the video, because I wanted to show a little memory of what I did for Nintendo Direct like talks. Okay, maybe the original directs as well, maybe those. But um, mainly today we are gonna be showing since like tomorrow is actually going to be the first time we're going to get a real nintendo direct so let's show you what what are we going to start off with and instead of doing the pointing thing and stuff there's going to be just going to be a number like let's say i'm going to start off with number 10 the, the the number just the letter the number just appeared right and i'm not doing the pointing thing this time i'm in serious business so, number 10, I did it on the list, by the way, is Skyward Sword. And um, I'm not really interested in Skyward Sword, but it it's a really cool, like, you know, experience of how Skyward Sword, like, Legend of Zelda began. So, I think I'm pretty excited, but it's not really, like, an exciting topic for me. But, yeah, you can go with it. Am I right? Number nine is um by the way I'm by the way um the um Nintendo Direct one it was seen in the RS channel one and the talks were from RS first channel. But back to business, number nine is Metroid 2D. Now we won't see Metroid Prime 4. It's there's no way. There's like no way. Maybe maybe, but no. But I'm saying it's gonna be Metro but it's gonna probably be Metroid 2D. A lot of people are saying it. By the way, these are just things of people that are, are saying, and I'm just picking the ones that look interesting to me. But Metroid 2D could be really cool, and maybe it might be a remake of the original Metroid, maybe? That would be cool. Actually, no, maybe not, because we, we already have Metroid Zero Mission. Maybe we can have a remake of Super Metroid, because that game is really phenomenal. And I don't know if it's going to be real, but we'll see later. I don't know. We'll see. Number eight is Breath of the Wild 2. Now, Breath of the Wild 2. Um, the game is really popular, and I actually do want to try it myself and see what the open world explanation is. And a lot of people are so excited about the Breath of the Wild 2 um, game. And I'm actually a little excited about that, too. I just like the idea of the, the open world um, experience. And I'm just excited to see what it is, if it's coming or not. These are just predictions of um what we're saying. It's not actually real or anything, but we're going to find out if it's real or not. But Breath of the Wild 2, probably it might be real. Number 7 is probably going to be Mario plus Rabbit's new game. Maybe like the sequel to the game. And I love um, Mario and Rabbids, to, you know, be honest. And um, I know a lot of people want to be crossover with another game, maybe like Sonic or stuff like that. But I'm thinking maybe it might be the sequel to the game. Because that game was really, like, you know, funny to begin with. And it's just a funny crossover that you can explore. And I just hope it is actually real. Number six could be Super Mario Party 2. Now, uh, Super Mario Party is really, like, just, like, um, a Mario, like, you know, like, like, a Mario Party changed a lot, like, when it got to probably, like, set, like, eight or something like that. Or, or four or five or something like that. But, um, 
Super Mario Party 2 must be back because Super Mario Party was actually really cool, like sh bringing back the board games, but adding in some new ones. And Super Mario Party 2 just feels like I need to add in more. We need to add in more mini games, maybe some old ones, and yeah, I, and probably a bet a cool story mode. And yeah, I'm super excited for that. Number five could be Kirby. And not just any like, you know, 2D kind of game. Probably it might be 3D because Kirby always goes like 2D, no like 3D or anything. And yes, it, while it does like the characteristics go like 3D, I'm like 2D, like 3D, I guess. It still goes 2D, but now it might go 3D. And um, thanks to the most int main entry to the series, Kirby Star Allies, it probably might happen, even though the game is really bad for that. Even though the game is disappointing. But it probably might happen. Kirby 3D. Real, like, actual Kirby 3D. Maybe, like, Super Mario 3D World. It could be. It could happen. I don't know. We'll see. Number four of my predictions could be Mario Golf. Mario Golf, um, the last entry in the series was, I think it was called World Tour. And, um... Ever since then, there was not really that much Mario Golf games anymore. But I'm predicting that there's going to be a new one in the series. And um, as an honorable mention, I'm going to have F-Zero in it as well. But I'm not really thinking it's going to come. So, um, nope. Way for F-Zero. But for Mario Golf, definitely. Definitely Mario Golf. Because it's um, it could include motion controls. And it will be a fun time, probably. So, I am suggesting that. Number three is N64 Online. Now, I know we have Super Mario N64, but we could have Ocarina of Time. We could have Majora's Mask. We could basically have any 64 game, like Kirby. Um, there's no Metroid, sadly. Or Smash. Actually, Smash. Super Smash Brothers 64. That would be a fun time. But, um, I'm predicting that because, um, I don't know, it feels lonely having only Super Mario 64 on the 64 Nintendo Switch games. So, I'm predicting that. It probably might happen. Number two is Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now, um, Super Mario Galaxy is on there, of course. But I was thinking Super Mario Galaxy 2 because that's the more fun one. And I just really want it because if it's not there, then I'm just going to be so mad at myself. It might be ha it might happen at the end. Sort of like kind of like um before the Super Mario 35th anniversary, you know, ends like the event. But I'm predicting that because um I don't know, it feels lonely just having Super Mario Galaxy on the 3D All-Stars collection. So, Super Mario Galaxy 2 may happen. Number one, drum roll, please. An online, like, like a, it's like an online kind of like um, drum roll, by the way, is um, Smash. Of course, of course, I had to pick Smash. And um, the ones I'm predicting are Paper Mario or Crash Bandicoot. Now, Paper Mario, it. It just, I, I just want to have Paper Mario in the game. And I would just want to play with him. For, um, Crash, meanwhile, Crash could just spin around and, um, actually destroy some things. And I just wish that was in the game as well. But it has to be two of those things. I want Paper Mario, but if it's not Paper Mario, then Crash Bandicoot. Anyway, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Um... I hope you liked the timeline at the beginning because I want to show what um, direct like times I talked about the directs in different channels. And I wanted to do one here. So tomorrow I am going to react to my top five favorite things in the, um, like, what's my favorite, like, thing I saw on the direct. And then I can show it to you. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!